Hi, this is Ayokunle from Blooming Gardens uh, and I'm out here in the field again. Uh, um, I wanted to share an experience. Uh, you know, there's a lot of discourse, especially around here in Nigeria, about herbicides being good for your field or not, whether they are effective or not. Um, I'm just watching what happened on my field here, and I said I'm going to show you my own view or perspective about it and uh, share with you guys. Now, watch this parcel of land. This, we sprayed um, some herbicides. Uh, which was a mix of uh, metalachlor and paraquat a couple of weeks ago I think about seven eight weeks ago and uh, we prepared the beds we wanted to plant but we just haven't gotten around to planting uh, but um, as you can see in spite of the rains that has been coming down the last three weeks the field is clean technically no weed and stuff now check this out this same space was sprayed with the same chemical from the same company the same active ingredient and as you can see there's weed everywhere what can i tell is the difference between this and this is the people the guy spraying here he is a diligent guy when you tell him to go at a particular pace he, man he maintains that pace he will tell him to mix the right quantities of uh, the active of the chemicals. He does exactly the same job. This guy is not a good guy, and as you can see, the results are showing. He obviously skipped a lot of lines. Uh, some areas are clean, as you can see down there. Some areas are weed, weed, uh, weed is everywhere already. So really, the issue here now, as you can see from this field, and I mean both sides of this land. It's not so much about whether the chemicals are working or not, but it's more about the people, which is why it's important that we train our guys, we teach them what to do, how to do, and why they are doing what they are doing. So I'm going to take my guy through this process right now and let him understand what is his hero so that in the future he doesn't do this. And again, most likely I'm going to penalize him if he has not run away. <laughs> Uh, why did I chip in that? Uh, we paid salaries on a couple of days ago and uh, the day after almost all, a lot of them just disappeared and didn't come right? I guess this is the story of our lives as farmers in Nigeria right now. But anyway, we're moving forward. This is Ayokunle once again. Just wanted to share this my experience with you guys and uh, trust you guys will catch fun and have a nice week. Uh, if you like this video and all the other ones I've been putting on YouTube, please feel free to subscribe to our channel after you finish watching this video just click on the button subscribe down there and you'll see me on the next video thanks bye